Hi everyone and greetings from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy and I have an exciting announcement. I'm launching a new series. The primary reason that I launched a YouTube channel was to help improve the quality of STEM education in the general public. Part of that I've grabbed a pen and some paper and headed over to the kitchen table and just basically tried to explain some things. Folks seem to like that quite a bit so I decided to make a series out of it. So welcome to the pilot episode of Northwoods Scientist. Well, since this is a new series, I thought it would be a good idea to start off with why I wanted to do it. While I'll continue Flat Earth Can't Science as needed, I'd like to have this series devoted specifically to promoting STEM education. The natural world is a wondrous place, and a healthy curiosity and some understanding is the key to appreciating it. The math and science that we're going to go over is geared more towards the high school than the college level. The format will be an informal talk between friends and consist of clear explanations and tabletop experiments that we all can do. Now, in addition to just wanting to do this, I've had a number of inspirations, and I want to recognize a few of them now. Probably the first one's been Conspiracy Cat slash Baldy Cats. Now, Conspiracy Cats is a fellow Flat Earth debunker who has a second channel where he sits down and just explains things to high school students. I'm basically following that route myself, so I thought I'd recognize him first. Next, we have people like Miles Davis and Critical Think. Miles, because he has a, an acute eye for interesting things that he sees in photographs and the understanding to recognize when he has something special. Critical Think, because he's not afraid to get out and get his hands dirty and do some experiments, adding a little humor in the process. Dang Josh is a inspiration to me. He's a small channel that does a lot of garage and backyard experiments. His demonstrations of refraction have been featured in several of my videos, and what's rounded out with a number of excellent channels, both large and small, that just do really great work. I've featured or referred to a number of them in my videos. Although they're all excellent content creators, I want to single out one per particular mention. Wolfie6020 has been quite an inspiration to me. He demonstrates a willingness to put the time and effort into education, going through considerable expense to purchase equipment to demonstrate the differential of weights by latitude, for example. And his hobby of astronomy has certainly generated a number of excellent videos on the subject. He's a fellow pilot. He has an unquenchable curiosity of nature and is basically a gentleman of science. He always sets you at ease when he talks to you. That's a model that I would like to emulate. The other thing that I like about Wolfie is the fact that his approach is more of education rather than debunking. This is an approach that I intend to take. Not only is he approachable, he demonstrates his commitment to learning and truth. We see many people make outlandish promises on YouTube, but when Wolfie said that he would fly somebody from the United States to Australia to do experiments, he followed through and did it. My hope with this series is to be able to live up to that standard. So with that said, let's get started on the series. My approach is going to be to scour YouTube to look for interesting videos. Then I'm going to ask myself, do they get the point across well and accurately? Can I possibly explain it better or add something to it? Well, I've found such a video and Conspiracy Cats will be the first one that I will go over. He did a great job discussing the curve calculator. I'm going to see if I can add something to it and uh, make it a little better. As I've said many times before, science is a team sport. We build on the achievements of those that came before us. So take a moment to like and subscribe this channel and click the notifications button so you can see when that video comes out. One last note, the theme music for this series is Promontory, uh, and the arrangement is by Jamie Dupree. He was a master with a harp guitar. If you get a chance, stop by and check out his channel. The link is in the description.